Sarazen believes in opening the lines of communication and participation between teams, regardless of whether your teams sit next to each other, are located across the globe, or are comprised of both internal company members and customers. With Clarizen, you have the ability to add customers into your environment, inviting them to join discussion boards, view their project's progress, create and view their submitted cases, and much more. You even have the ability to upload documents to customers so that you can track contracts and invoices, and to start discussions about each customer, for example, discussing the next billing cycle for a specific customer with the finance team, without having to leave Clarizen. Using the discussion groups, you can easily separate between items that are shared externally and those which need to be kept internal and accessible only to your organizational users. To manage your full list of customers, select the Customers module from the Navigation panel. You can now view and edit all existing customers. To delete a customer, simply select it and click on the Delete button. Customers that are linked to issues or projects cannot be deleted, but are rather deactivated and can be reactivated by clicking on the Activate link. Let's start by linking a customer to a project. Linking customers to projects allows you to manage the customer billing and run relevant customer billing reports. Link Acme Core to the relevant customer implementation project and drill down into this project. Once the customer has been linked, you can set the cost allocation to determine what cost percentages of the project will be billable to the customer. Drilling down into the customer details shows you the properties of the customer, including the account owner, account status, and technical account manager. You also have the ability to manage the customer's contacts, view the discussion messages, and add any documents. To add a new contact, Let's click on Add Related and select Contacts. You can enter any relevant data and even customize the Add Mode to include any other relevant or custom data. Custom fields can also be created on the customer level. For example, this organization created a custom field to indicate the internal sales rep. You can see that Acme is linked to several projects, including the Customer Implementation Project, and view the project details and progress directly from the Customer Details page. This customer is also linked directly to the Acme Customer Implementation Group. This is a public discussion group that was automatically created along with the Customer Implementation Project. Discussion groups are a great way to keep the lines of communication open and transparent between you, your customers, and your team members, and to provide one centralized location to share ideas documents, and progress of work. For the customer, the most important post in this group is the one that links to the project roadmap, which is why this post has been pinned and is always displayed at the top. The roadmap gives the customer a bird's eye view of the project's progress while allowing them to discuss any issues they may have with the team. Now let's take a look at linking customers to cases and how customers can submit cases. Using Clarison's out-of-the-box email-to-case interact rules, customers can quickly submit new tickets directly from their email or via HTML forms available on your website. Let's take this request created by Acme. Once the request has been added and linked to the customer, you can add any other information, including whether or not this request was committed to the customer, and if so, what the commitment date is. You can now run a wide range of preset reports from within the Clarison reporting tool to determine the number of cases and projects per customer, the cost and revenue forecast for specific or all customers, and much more. Let's select the total due by customer option for a selected timeframe report and select the download option. Now let's enter the customer Acme Core and select the timeframe, which in this case is December 2013. Once the report has run, you can bill the customer based on the exact hours worked by your employees. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our Wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.